G'day and welcome back to Fit for FIFO. This week's episode will be taking you for a tour through a FIFO camp dining hall where you can see where FIFO workers dine when they're staying in camp. If you missed and would like to see the tour we did of a FIFO camp bedroom along with tips, you can find that on our YouTube channel along with the rest of our episodes. Also, word of warning, sorry for the FIFO workers who are currently on r and you may have withdrawals. Let's get into it. As you can see, another bright and colourful camp facility thriving with colour and life. To the left you can see the main dining area where everyone eats their breakfast and dinner. First thing I want to show you and talk a little bit about is the dessert bar. God only knows why but almost every FIFO camp I've been to you cannot walk to the main food Bay Marie without walking past it. Which seems ridiculous to me as in a report I found by a behavioural psychologist it speaks of how seeing junk food your brain actually triggers physical responses such as salivation that support cravings for this crap. So in short, don't go near the bloody dessert bar unless it's your cheat day. When comparing two more studies I found, nearly half of obese or overweight FIFO workers genuinely believe they're not overweight, so don't fall into the category of it won't happen to me. If you're interested in having a read of a typical menu in a FIFO camp dining hall, then get ready to hit pause because here it is. These are all pretty standard foods you'll find across most camps. The only difference is some camps have seafood nights on the odd occasion. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Here's a preview of what's on next week. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments box below. Here it is. The main positive I think everyone would agree is that we came up with a bit of an arrangement and um, uh, I said to my wife, look. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. <laughs>